Oh, look, he's got ears. Oh. Great, so we can hear all the bad jokes you've been telling him. <laughs> Howdy folks, Jay here. Welcome to another exciting vlog. Today we have... Kenny! That's right, and we're here in Ohio! Where? Somewhere in Ohio. We're actually, we're going to Dublin. Like the Irish Dublin. Well, you, we always go to Irish places because yeah. you're Irish. True, but this is a completely different thing. It has nothing to do with the Irish culture. There's just a really big field of corn. Ah, uh, not potatoes. Not potatoes, <laughs> but corn. Wow. That's right. A big field of corn. A big field of corn made of statues. What? Yeah, that's right. Like statues? Yeah. Of corn? They're, they're just there, and we're gonna go find out why. field of corn. What do you think, Kenny? If, if you build it, they will come. They built it, and we're here. <laughs> yep. Now, anybody got any butter? <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty corny. <laughs> ah, you're corny. So corny. Yeah, yeah. Tell us about the corn, Kenny. What's up with this corn here? Well, Why this is, here? is a tribute to the guy who discovered what is known as hybridization, meaning these are hybrids, two different varieties of corn, put together in one cob. Okay, so this is uh, this is a, an, a tribute to somebody. Yeah, his name was Sam France. Okay, and uh, from 1935 to 1963, he farmed this area. Oh wow! Okay, and so it was so important with uh, the Department of Agriculture yeah. that they put up this tribute. Okay, so it's a tribute to him. There's 109 cobs of corn. Wow, here. 109. And so basically, what that's a lot of corn. I got a popcorn with that. Yeah, or yeah. you could have corn fritters. Oh, sure. Corn on the cob. Yeah, you can even, corn. You can make corn cob pipes out of these. You know, for smoking. <laughs> Tobacco. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Well, anyway, getting back to the corn and the yeah. hybrid varieties, what this did was made it more drought resistant, so the yeah. farmers would have more success when it came to corn and uh, fill, uh, feeding the uh, bellies of Americans. Yeah, isn't it crazy? It's out here. Yeah. I like it, I like it. Yeah. Nice. But you know, I don't see any of those big corn skewers. No. The big things. Yeah. All we gotta do now is find the really big butter and a little bit of salt and we're good. Ooh, buttered corn. Yeah, yeah. Start munching away on that, huh? I'm getting hungry, man. So, okay, that appeared. You gotta get the shot there. Okay. There you go. So it looks like just a regular formation, or who knows what it is. But, ha, when you get in front of it, that's where the magic is. How do you know we haven't been there yet? Well, because well, cause I saw a picture of it. Oh, RoadsideAmerica.com? RoadsideAmerica.com kind of showed me. So let me show you what the front looks like. Check it out. It's a face, Jay. Yeah. A face of who? I believe this is the face of Chief Leather Lips. What? You're making that up. Nope, I think it really is. Chief Leather Lips. The white settlers here gave him that name because they admired his trait for not breaking a promise. It's a pretty solid guy. Pretty solid. Woo! Yeah! Am I sitting under the Chief's nose? Or could Chief Leatherlips be having an allergy? <laughs> oh, with you sitting there, he's definitely having an allergy. Shut up, sure. Jay. Yeah. Oh, look, he's got ears. Oh. 
Great, so we can hear all the bad jokes you've been telling them. <laughs> Once again, visiting something like this in the outdoors, just another great example of social distancing and just staying safe outside during this COVID pandemic. Come visit it. You won't be disappointed. All right, so right now I'm looking for a man about a tree. Excuse me? Or maybe he's in the tree. I don't know, something like that. I have no idea what you're talking about. That's is it okay. a man or is it a tree? Uh, both. There it is, it's a man. It's a boy. A boy, it's a, whatever. It's, it looks like a man because it's large. But a man wouldn't climb a tree like that. I'm sure he would. If he lost his drone up there. <laughs> <laughs> Junk! Uh, anyway, uh, we're not sure why he's up there. I mean, I think the artist said he was trying to replicate like a human looking like a cicada in a tree. Wait or a minute, is a there a, yeah, like the bug. Or, or there was a lawsuit I heard and a boy was climbing the tree and fell from the tree and got millions of dollars. And that's just a reminder to not climb trees. <laughs> Where, now where's the fun in that? Unless you want to make a lot of money. I'll, I'll take the cicada story, okay. I think. Anyway. Um, why is the bee? We came here for the museum, right? Thank you. You're welcome. Oh. Oh. John Sloan. Oh. Wow. Because corporate is right Corporate's in the corner over there. Ah, I got it. So this is just the, the big, fancy Wendy's. Yeah. And the tribute, I guess, to And the Dave. tribute to Dave. Yeah, absolutely. So, absolutely. This is the Wendy's I remember. Is Wendy her nickname, or was her real name Melinda? God, I don't know. It might tell you in here. Let's go look. I'm telling you, it's Melinda. They're so foolish. Why is the beef? Well, thank you. We'll find out. We will, I hope so. Thank you so much. Enjoy. Oh, wow. But I, but I tell you what, I don't see anything where it says her name is Melinda. Google it, dude. No, I'm not going to Google it. You know why? Because I don't believe it. And that's the original uh, griddle that they took the meat on. Yeah, <laughs> that's cool. And so then Dave said, aha, how about an extra value menu? That's oh. right, 99 cents. I probably survived college on the 99 cent uh, 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 junior bacon cheeseburger. Absolutely. Dave Thomas, you're all right. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, and remember folks to always have fun. That's right. <laughs>